Hi, folks. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about student teaching, and I thought I'd do it uh, via Zoom so you can look at this anytime that you want to. And I'm actually going to screen share. So everything uh, that we do or have for forums or anything like that is going to be on Brightspace. I already mentioned that to you. And um, so it's kind of like a repository. That's where you're going to get your grades and everything else. But because it's a little different that IT had to meld courses together, when you go in, you might not see what um, I see type thing or where you should go. So you're going to hopefully see this here. And it says elementary ed, even though you're art or secondary, please click on that. And then when you get to this, I changed the banner. I couldn't change the other banner um, just because it, it goes into a system. This one I could. So you can see elementary second in our education and all the numbers, all the CRMs that you are in. So what I have here are modules that I've developed and there's not a lot, but the student teacher handbook, it's been revised again and again. Um, but what I did, instead of you needing to go to the handbook all the time and trying to take things out, I took things out of the handbook myself and put them in modules. So, and over here you have your um, list to due dates. And some of these things have changed since the last time we talked. So what I did is I took the due date page and put it in a module. Whoops, and you could see right there what is going to be underneath. You have your schema. And as you go in here, and I'm trying to go quick on this because I don't want to waste your time. You can go back and look at it. There are dates in here. I had to put specific dates in here because of the due dates for the um, items, you know, for the assignments. So your introductory parent letter, everybody should have that done. Bright Space opens up for you January 4th, I think. Um, I'll double check that. And anyways, January 7th is when you um, need to get your letter updated. You, you can get in there by then. PD plan at the end of January. You can see the observations here. There's four of them in total. February 16th, they all have to be done. You could do, if you want to go back and do them in two weeks, you could do them and upload them. Okay, I'm not to, going to give a grade until they're all uploaded though. I will give comments. Um, mandatory meetings, you'll get that grade at the very end. I'll up, input this. Weekly activity sheets, I'll get to that in a few minutes. There's been a huge change on that uh, um, in, ex, in, in exchange for what I thought we were going to do when we talked about initially, but I'll get to that. Two, two of the videotape reflections, unit of study, you'll be working a lot of that, most of that in 405, all of it maybe. Um, the correlated per packet, Okay, so and then at the bottom here, I did put dates in the midterm in dispositional review STAPA and also the final. We'll talk about this all the time as we go through our um, weekly meetings. But I just thought I'd give you a quick review in case you wanted to get in here. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, assignment forms. All the forms that you need for anything are in here. So you don't have to go looking for them. You don't have to go in the handbook. I'm trying to make it easier for you because your time is so precious and your student teaching is precious. So observation form for the classroom teachers, you have three or two of those, excuse me, three of those. Observation form for special ed, professional development plan. I've listed each one and said, Weekly activity sheets, you want to read this again. The student teacher will follow these guidelines weekly. This information does not have to be uploaded to Brightspace. Um, it might say there somewhere in the student teaching handbook, but I am not going to ask you to upload them every single Friday. Um, as you can see below, the student will keep writing a weekly sheet. The form is in the assignment form. Um, and it's a good part of communication between student teachers and cooperating teacher. It will be uploaded into Brightspace. No, it does not have to be uploaded into Brightspace. Um, every Friday before three, the sheet 
has to be emailed to the cooperating teacher and university supervisor though. So this is something you have to do every Friday. We faculty talked and talked about this and the consensus was this needed to be done. So what I'm going to do um, and right now is I'm going in here as we speak. So you won't be confused at all. I am taking that out. At the very end of the course, I'm going to ask you just to sign off that you've sent them. And that way there um, every week, then you can get your points in the final in Snappa. okay? All the forms are right here. All right, so then if we go back, and I know you can go through this and look at it yourself, but if I kind of guided you through it, it might be easier. So then your assignments, when you upload them, are all here. These are the assignments that you have to upload. The mid and assessment final, we'll talk about it more. You will be, will be sent to you and your cooperating teacher via a Google link. Okay, you do have to submit it, but you do not have to use the form that is in forms. I will send you a Google link so we can all be writing in it all at one time. And again, here are all the um, forms for you. Now, professional education review. You don't have to look at it, but sometimes it's like, I wanna peek, I wanna see what my expectations are, what do I need to do? So here's information. In this module, you will find list of content on PERB packet, samples of teaching philosophy, past PERB packets, past PERB presentation, and the time frame for the presentation. So I went back, researched all of this and put it in this module for you in sub modules. So here's the contents of your PERB packet. It's right there. And then, and I won't go through every single module, but um, oh, here we go, professional reverb information. And here is, teaching philosophies in there. And one of them tells you how to write a philosophy. There's examples. Another example, sample of per packets. These, teacher, these uh, students rather have granted me permission. So there's an elementary and a middle school. I did not have a high school packet. And sample of per presentations, these are varied. Um, and there's, in here you will find, it's a Word doc and you can click on the links, which will take you to per presentations that we have done. These have been done virtually in most cases um, because of COVID, you will not, you, we will more than likely be doing yours on Zoom, but you will have um, you know, the faculty group and you will be Zooming to us. You will not have to upload your PERB to YouTube as some of these folks did, okay? High school history, middle school science, first grade, fifth grade, all right. And I bet the art team, I bet Vi really appreciates that one. Um, okay, and then we go back to Red Cap is mine. And you can get in here, it's just the observation form. You don't have to do anything with it, but it's at my fingertips too. When I come in uh, school and observe you, I'll just use this form. Uh, in a nutshell, that is it. So I thought I'd do this, give you an idea what the forums are, what we're gonna be doing, meeting weekly. I did send out a um, survey um, asking about Monday and timeframes too. If you could complete that, I would appreciate it. Otherwise, if you look at this after the first of the year, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and happy new year. And if you didn't, Merry Christmas and happy new year. Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy. I can't wait to get in schools with you. Thank you so very much. Email me, text me if you need me.